Okay, here's a quick update on the video I did for the GPD XD last week. Um, before I showed a few games playing, particularly emulators, and there's a few comments on the YouTube forum or um, comment section about other uses of the GPD XD, like the um, uh, general sort of tablet use that you might use, um, Chrome or um, business apps generally. So I thought I'd run through a few of those. Now, I did show, I'll just unlock that, I did show in the previous video that you can uh, get HDMI output from this and that will show, just get that to the home screen if I can work that out, there we go, um, so you can get HDMI output of this and I captured it without this sort of view, so directly from it and that does show quite well when you're using this interface but when you play a game it does upscale and it doesn't quite look as you'd see it here so I thought I'd give this one a go just um, in this sort of direct view so you can see what you're looking at on the screen. But uh, if you want me to put some HDMI um, output straight through, just let me know and I'll, I'll do a separate video. One thing I didn't mention, I don't think, on the other video was about the D-pad. It does, although it works pretty well in the games, it is a bit mushy. So when you press something, it generally all goes down. It feels a bit unresponsive when you press that because you don't really know what you're pressing. And you press this bit down, it feels like the whole thing's going down a little bit. So it's, I'd say the D-pad could do with some improvements. The analog sticks feel pretty fine. You can hear, actually, I don't know if you can hear that when I move it around, that you get a bit of audio. Because it's um, selecting the, the different boxes on the screen there. But they work, they work fine. And, and some people have said these buttons here are a bit mushy, a bit sort of weak. But I, I don't know, I'd say they're fairly responsive. I don't know what I've pressed there. Let's see if we can get that. Um, yeah, they, they feel okay, they're not so bad. I mean, maybe I'm not that picky, but I'd say I'd say that this D-pad definitely does need does need some work. Um, you've got the back buttons again, um, and they're, they're all pretty good. They've got a good click to them. See those there. So generally, I'd say the build of the unit's pretty good. Also, there's quite a few comments on the forum about uh, firmware and general hardware reliability of the GPDXD. I'd say mine doesn't seem to have any problems. Uh, if I go into this section here, you should be able to see, hopefully that's focusing okay, and the settings and settings there. And uh, down the bottom here, no, not down the bottom here, down the bottom here, and the about tablet. Uh, you've got here, under the build number, I've got 3.3.2. I think there is actually an up, a slightly newer version of firmware now, although I can't remember the changes it makes, and typically I wouldn't update the firmware unless I know I'm going to benefit from whatever changes in there. But I haven't had an issue since updating this. I haven't had it um, restart on me or turn off or the battery not charge. In fact, I've barely used it for about a week, and currently, what's the, ooh, what's the battery on? 90% at the minute. So it's held its charge pretty well, I think. Although that's a bit weird. I'm pressing down on that. Oh, it's staying there. Okay. Oh, and I've got cast screen, so I've got Chromecast built in there as well. I haven't really tried that much. Lock the rotation. So when I do go like this, it's not changing at the moment because um, that's how I've set it. So when I try these apps out, that's why. And uh, yeah, so I've I've been um, pretty happy with it already. I haven't tested it out an awful lot more than before, but like I say, it's pretty reliable. I haven't had any hardware issues. Haven't had any odd beeps or squeaks. Just that 90, uh, 90 degree there. The hinge there. But you know, if I was doing that all day, it might be a problem. But once you've got it where you want it, it's it's fine. Um, okay, so back to the home screen. And see, I tap this one down here. This is a not a theater launcher I've installed. Um, if I go into settings, you can see I've decided to install, just because I'm experimenting with Android really, um, which is under Home and Smart Launch Pro. But obviously there's a load of different launches. And if we go back to the Home and under uh, Communication, uh, Gamepad, I don't use whatever that is. Emulation, we've got PPSSPV, which is PlayStation Portable Emulator. I'll try that out in a second. Uh, Internet. Got um, to, to demo it. I've got Daily Mail Online, the official BBC News and Sky News apps said they're not compatible with this, so I didn't or couldn't download those. But this Daily Mail one was compatible. I wouldn't necessarily recommend reading the Daily Mail, but as an example, you can see there um, it's pretty responsive. Uh, 
to try and read something not too dramatic. It's pretty quick to bring up details, easy to scroll. Don't really have any issues with that. Oh, don't want to press whatever that is. Fine, it's got ads at the bottom. Very readable. So, you know, it's definitely usable for news. And there's various news apps, obviously, on Android quite a lot. Why some of them weren't compatible with this, I'm not too sure, but um, the ones that are, no doubt, are pretty good. Okay, sport, try that out. Loading the images. I'm on Wi Fi here. Um, I've got a pretty strong signal where I'm sitting at the moment. Although the Wi Fi icon doesn't seem to imply that. I'm about one meter away from the Wi Fi point, so quite well asked that week, I'm not sure. Yeah, perfectly usable. Okay. Um, I think, oh, and that's comments. You can press that and read comments in the app. But yeah, that's quite usable. And it might be quite good that way up as well, but obviously I've locked my screen, so I'm not seeing that. Okay, right, if I go back and in here, what else have we got? eBay. So eBay runs, I don't know why that's gone to search eBay, I was using that earlier. Um, back. Back. So I search for, I don't know, football. It wasn't too dark on the video when that comes out. It's a lot lighter here, but I'm not sure that'd be okay. Um, yeah, so eBay app works pretty well. Description, All right? Description. That's pretty nippy. It's not sluggish. Really usable. No problems with that. Um, okay, if we back out of that, what else have we got here? Um, Chrome, just general browsing, I guess. Uh, news. I think Chrome would probably be the browser of choice there. Again, pretty responsive. Apparently we've all been pronouncing Voldemort's name wrong. Yeah, no problems with that. Okay. Um, that's a lot lighter. I think it's the bright screen that sort of automatically um, dims it a bit, so you're getting a bit of a dimmer view when the white screen's on there. Okay, back. Uh, back, let's go home, check another app, what we've got here, uh, media, I've got IMDB, uh, let's check something out, Everest, so if I go um, on the right here, I'll click synopsis, you get a pop-up with the synopsis details, Pretty quick. Uh, user reviews again, sort of pops up for each individual bit. Check out the reviews. So that's quite usable. You get a decent sort of resize of the screen pretty well. Get the relevant details out. Images appearing. Um, okay, that was IMDb. Uh, Word. So Microsoft applications. That was me trying to type earlier. Um, cheese, biscuits. Oh, can't spell. The keyboard's pretty usable. Um, the, I blame the typing on me rather than the keyboard. Uh, what's the sentence? What is a 
sentence again. That's me not aiming very well. Let me try harder. Okay, enough on that. I'm sure, you know, given a half an hour or so, you get a hang of this and um, it worked pretty well. Then up here you've got um, share options, so I can share this with Outlook. Skype, Wi-Fi transfer, sent by LAN. You can save it to the device or Dropbox. General options. Um, yeah, it's a pretty good app. And again, it's not it's not sluggish when I'm typing. It's now pretty quick. And um, the keyboard's a good size, I think. So that's Word. Um, and you get all the Excel, PowerPoint, and everything else on here as well, and that's free. Do I want to save changes? No, I want to quit. Um, okay, what's next? I look at IMDb. Um, look at Daily Mail. And it's PPS, SPP. I forget what it stands for, but obviously it's the PSP emulator. Okay, that goes straight back into Wi-Fi like I was trying. Um, you can hear that is really sluggish. But that might be me and the options. So if we quit that exit to menu. Unfortunately, it stopped working. Okay, this is the free version, not the gold version. So it's got um, ads in it somewhere. Um, the two I've got here, actually, if I go to games, you get to see that you've got the file browser here, really. So I now want to go to mount and external SD. ROMs, uh, PSP. this is just the SD card I've put in there and I've got two, they automatically get a thumbnail from them, I've got Soul Calibur something and Wipeout Pure or Pulse, one of the two so um, if, I if I call that one up and it's, you can see it's got the overlay but there's an option to get rid of the overlay um, it's quite useful the overlay when you're starting to get to use the games you can just make sure your key presses are getting detected and see what's getting used I haven't changed any settings on this so this is pretty much stock Okay, let's skip that. Um, I'm going to see if I can get rid of that overlay, which I think if I press back button, you get settings up here. Go into settings, controls, and on screen touch controls off. Okay, there we go. So they've gone. Now I've just got to press the right buttons. Uh, new game. Yep, whatever that one is. Start. Uh, no, that's not very happy. Okay, quick match. The sound stutters a bit. Um, Graphics seem okay, but yeah, it's not quite. The bonfire reflects in the warriors' shining blades and their determined eyes. Ready? Only death awaits those who get in my way. Battle one. Fight. Yeah, it turns out it's a bit stuttery. Um, The yeah, analog pad works well on this. It's probably the best pad, better than the D pad.
But it's okay, not bad. Um, bit stuttery, like I say. I haven't tried that many different games, but um, it seems to perform pretty well on it. If I go back and choose um, Exit to Menu, and I don't know what that's about or why that's appeared. Okay, there must be an advert, I guess. Okay, we've got Wipeout Pulse, give that one a go. And this one I know did go a lot slower at certain stages, but it does seem to struggle a bit with this one. Okay, start this one. Uh, race campaign, yes, 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 yes. Already you can hear the sound going a bit crazy. And this is feeling about as sluggish as it's looking. Really slow. Not any good at all. But I imagine a few tweaks of the configuration might help it a bit. If we go into settings and in the graphics, if say frame skipping is off and auto frame skips off. If I put auto frame skip on and frame skipping to, I don't know, four, and then go back in the game, there, that's already much faster. I'd say that's pretty playable, but I still feel like it's got a bit of a way to go. I don't know if there's anything else obvious in the settings. Uh, graphics, buffered rendering. I don't know, maybe non-buffered rendering is better. Let's, okay, let's try that. Mm, that's worse. That's not any good. Okay, so settings, back to buffered rendering. Um, I don't know what these settings do. Uh, Post process, that's off. Rendering resolution. Yeah, I'm sure if you tweak a few of these, you might get a bit better performance out of it. I mean, it's pretty playable, and I'm sure a lot of the games um, are pretty good. This one isn't ideal, but it, does, it is playable. It's not too bad. But yeah, the uh, point is, my GPDXD after a week and a half or so with it, it's um, still performing well. Battery is holding a charge. Hardware is doing holding up pretty well. It's, it's pretty solid. I think some people have said there's a battery shake on some of the models, but I don't hear anything with this one. It seems fine. It's a 16 gig black version. We've got only 32 blacks and blues right now. Um, yeah, generally, it's not just a gaming machine, not just retro. Um, emulators there but also perfectly good business apps uh, and run Android apps that you get on the store pretty well and um, just go back in here and yeah you can run most of the ones that you can run on your phone on this uh, pretty well it's not not an issue so if there's anything particular you want to run quite happy to give it a go but yeah I'd recommend the device it's good pretty popular and uh, seems to be quite well supported with um, firmware updates coming out quite well, quite uh, often. Any questions, stick them in the forums, uh, in the comments section, and I'll get back to you. Thanks.